What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video we have another episode of the series Alt AFK Camping. A concept where you just place your army of alts at a bunch of different locations and it's pretty much log in, kill mob, log out over to the next tune kind of thing where you're typically going to be farming rare elites daily on an army of alts in order to uh, try to obtain very valuable items. So this is just another one of those episodes. I've done plenty of videos on this topic and you guys seem to really like him. So uh, here's another video of what I'm currently camping right now, as it does change all the time. But before we dive into the specifics, big thank you for all the support on the zero to 10 million gold guide. Nearly 200 pages with the best tactics and methods that I personally use in order to achieve hundreds of millions of gold. The best part is the fact that this gold guide is digital. You can open it up on your PC, phone, tablet. Uh, so that means that whenever there's a new patch or even a brand new expansion to the game, I will update the exact same gold guide and send it to your email completely for free. So uh, if you think that sounds interesting, check it out with the link down below in the description and use the discount code STUDENT for 50% off. Now, if you already have the gold guide, which I know a lot of you guys do, and I really do appreciate that support, you can also consider signing up to the VIP Discord, which is pretty much like a Patreon, but it's a bit more simpler because everything happens on a Discord server. And on that server, you get to watch all of these YouTube videos before they go live on YouTube. And uh, you also get access to exclusive content in forms of gold tips, spreadsheets, investments, and much, much more. But that's also linked down below. Now, the first location that we're going to take a look at is a location where I recently made a standalone video on the topic. It takes place uh, right here inside this cave, which you can access by walking over this bridge right here in Anturin Wastes in Argus Legion. So... The item of interest out of this one is the uh, Rebellious Imp. The Rebellious Imp has a price of anywhere between 25 to 50,000 gold. Really depends on which realm you play on. It is fairly simple to farm, but there's not a lot of people knowing about it. You pretty much, once you're inside this cave, you want to just uh, scavenge the cave for all of these imps that you can see. Because these imps can drop a consumable called the Imp Meat. And this is what you want. As the tooltip says, you combine, combine 100 imp meat to create a disgusting, stinky feast. Why would anyone eat this, right? So you click on that and uh, then you make the feast. Once you have the feast, you place it down like all the way at the back of this cave right here. And I've already done this uh, today on my tomb, but it's going to summon Mother Rosula. Mother Rosula is a rare elite, but similar to other uh, rare elites in the game, if you've already killed it that day, it's going to just be like a standard elite and you've lost your chance at loot that day. But this is just like for the video purpose, right? So you're going to kill Mother uh, Rosula and uh, obviously loot her and just pray that you will get the Rebellious Imp, the battle pet, which is quite valuable. Now... This is a really good one, and one that I haven't done for too long. Gotten a couple of battle pets, had some good sales, but as for any item on uh, this video, make sure that you're not selling it for a shitty low price, because items uh, like this one is 23,000 gold on the lowest realm in EU, but at the same time, you can find many high to full pop realms where it sells for 50,000 gold. So if you're in that position, simply put it into your war bank and then take it out on a realm that has a better price and sell it on that realm. And you can easily get your gold on your main realm by throwing the gold into the, uh, the war bank after selling it. Now, this next one is a banger. It's one that I've featured before. It is also a 100% drop chance, which... Uh, Naturally, it's going to do something to the value of it, but it's just such easy gold because it is 100% drop chance. It's Genatus in Pandaria at Townlong Steps. He basically just uh, goes back and forth patrols at the northern part of this island. Shansi Dayo. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that, but you guys get the idea. 
and he has as i said according to wow what it says 92 percent i've killed this guy many times and i've never not had the spawn of genatus which is the battle pet that we're going for uh, this bad boy right here now prices do vary but i usually sell these for like roughly five thousand gold a pop and that seems low compared to a lot of the items in this series but if it's a hundred percent drop chance for five thousand gold and you're willing to do a lot of uh, items that are might be twenty five thousand gold at a ten percent drop chance five thousand gold at a hundred percent drop chance all of a sudden doesn't sound that bad now does it uh, this next one is uh, yet another Demon Hunter, just because it's easy access to uh, the next item that we're going to be farming. And we are, of course, talking about the one and only Ruby Droplet. A battle pet that usually sits around the 20,000 gold mark. Fairly easy to farm. Uh, a lot of people, they struggle to reach the location of this guy because uh, it drops uh, in a no-flight zone at timeless isle right here by this pool so what you want to do is if you play demon hunter it's easy you just fly until it dismounts you and then you can glide as default by playing a demon hunter uh, you can use goblin gliders as well to reach this uh, part easily uh, there's like a death skip that you can do uh, you can jump on seagulls that patrols the area but i just think it's way easier to do it on uh, a demon hunter that can easily glide by default. And inside this pool you have Garnia, which spawns inside the pool. And Garnia is the one that can drop the Ruby Droplet. Uh, which has, a, I would say, a fair drop chance of the item. The exact uh, drop chance is kind of hard to say. Because wow, the data is just completely wrong on most of this stuff. Uh, but it, I've had uh, a fair uh, amount of these. So the drop chance... Is not too horrible compared to a lot of items including the next one that we're gonna be looking at now this one is a, a banger and a one that not a lot of people are doing the spawn time on this one is also kind of iffy where there's no concrete spawn timer on him people are saying uh that he spawns at exactly 8 p.m on the minute I've tried that, logged on at 8 p.m. And uh, he has spawned. So that might actually be a thing. And we're talking about Lepritus in Westfall. Now, I'm not sure what's going on down here. It might be because I've set it to classic uh, Wowhead. Yeah, there we go on retail. Because he spawns up here in Westfall. And the items of interest. And the funny thing is, like these items were actually removed from the game in Cataclysm. And then brought back in uh, patch 1017. We're talking the ghoul fingers and the ghoul fang from Lepritus. Quite valuable items. Uh, if you check your realm for these two items, you'll notice that a lot of the time they are uh, not even up on the auction house. If they are, you can see like the uh, the ghoul fingers of my realm at 30,000 gold. They're quite good. They uh, share an appearance with uh, Thieves' Gloves, but which is like a PUP, a soulbound item. So it's still really, really good. Uh, the ghoul fang is uh, another item that's really interesting. Um, maybe even more so than uh, the gloves as it is a weapon. And again, it has really good price. Shares appearance with the like this flamberge thingy, which is I believe is also soul bound item. So both of these items really good. These spawns right inside this box right here. And what I like about this location is that there's a lot of other rare elites close by. Like you have a Voltress dropping the uh, the Talna Voltress, which has shared appearances, but I've still sold a bunch of them. Uh, you also have the Foe Reaper dropping uh, like right down here. Inside this cave is a Master Digger, another good one. And down at the beach, you have a Slark, which also drops uh, like item specific uh, items from him on the beach. So whenever I log on to this tune, now it's just been a habit logging on to Dead Realms at 8 p.m., checking him and these other elites right close by, and then logging back out again. Now, that was pretty much it for today's video, but my list of rare elites and items that I camp is 
insanely long like pages upon pages so if you guys are still enjoying these videos let me know down below in the comment section and i can definitely make more of these uh, so make sure that you are subscribed to the youtube channel if you want to see those and uh, of course if you want to see all my videos before they go public on youtube feel free to check out the vip discord linked in the description down below together with the uh, zero to 10 million gold guide with that being said, appreciate you guys watching and I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.